my name is Mads. Welcome to Common Room's YouTube channel. I'm the owner of Iso Shop and we make bags and pouches which are locally produced in the Philippines. Today, I'm going to share with you my product making process. Typical day for me would be checking on online orders, also emails. I usually schedule my shipments twice a week, so I make it a point that I'm able to pack them before the shipping day. Whenever a new product comes in, I update the website and post on social media. My two favorite products are this camera bag and this pen wrap. This product is called the Molly Camera Satchel. This is one of my first products when I started selling online. It's a camera bag where you can put your camera and accessories. It has an outer pocket and it's fully padded. What I like about it is that it doesn't look like a camera bag. My first customers were actually students who would commute and bring their equipment with them. And it camouflages as like a normal bag. My second favorite product is this pen wrap. It's made of water repellent fabric. On the outside, it's a printed cotton fabric. What I like about this is when you're gonna use your pens, you just have to lay them down. The usual pencil case would have a zipper opening and then it's a bit hard to look for the pen that you need because you have to dig up pa. But with this pen wrap, you can easily see them already because they're all lined up. You can even sort them according to your liking by color, etc. When you close it, it's flat so you can easily put it inside your bag. When I started, I was just selling camera bags. But when I started joining bazaars already, it dawned on me that I needed a variety of products that I can offer my customers. So that when the customer is looking for something to give to a loved one or a special friend, they can choose from a selection of products that they can use for every day or even for special occasions. When I create my products, I also make sure they have specific functions. I think what makes my product special is the uniqueness, not only with the designs, but also with the functionalities. So when it comes to creating my products, I have four steps. First is brainstorming. Second is designing. Third, alignment with my production team. And then fourth is the actual production. First, for brainstorming, I think of the functionality. For example, I wanted a phone pouch that I can carry when I go out. And then also a wallet where I can put my money in. But I don't want to carry all of them. So I came up with this pouch where you can have your phone inside. And then there's a zippered pocket where you can put your money. When you go out, you want to be hands-free. So you can do what you need to do outside. So you can put it around your neck. When I already thought about the functionality, I do some research. I can go through the internet or maybe visit some shops where there are actual products of the same functionality. Look at them so that I can position my product like in terms of pricing, etc. I can be competitive with the pricing and then make sure that I don't create the exact product because I want my products to be unique so that when the customer buys my product, there's a feeling of exclusivity because they're also locally made. So when the functionality is already finalized, I move on to designing. In designing, I do sketches or mock-ups on my computer and then that's also the part where I select the materials that I'm going to use. So from the fabric to the accessories, the straps, even the thread to be used. And then after that, the production team creates a sample and then we go through the process where we check all the materials and the make. And once the sample is approved and everyone is happy with the outcome, that's when we proceed to the fourth step, which is production. This is the part where the team already creates the product and our sketches and mock-ups come to life. And then after that, we do quality check and packing and then they're good to be delivered to the branches. Tips in finding suppliers 
just do a lot of research because that's how I started. I didn't really know anything about bag making. I think it's important to look for your own suppliers. It's okay to ask your fellow entrepreneurs, but I feel like as a business owner, you have to have your own suppliers. Because imagine if all of us have the same supplier, then it wouldn't make our product unique. When it comes kasi to sewing, the sewers that I have are already skilled. So maybe the training that I need to do with them is on quality. Because they're used to doing this already, but of course we have our own parang definition of a good quality product. You have to let them know how important this business is for you so that they would also have that sense of ownership. Because if not, they would just do it. Kung anong gusto nilang gawin. I think one of the important things that a business owner should remember is how to meet halfway with your production team because you're not always right. So be open to suggestions from your production team or for your, from your employees. Yeah, it makes working with them easier and also for parang mas mabilis for your product to come out if you agree on something already. Up to this date, there's a sense of ownership na alam kong ako lang kasi yung gumawa. I think that's also one of the things that keeps me going. Parang a feeling of accomplishment or achievement that, ah, I was able to make this product. Because of the situation that we are in now, I feel like that's the biggest learning that I had, that I have to be open-minded. The trends and the world is ever-changing. So we need to adjust. I think for every business to succeed, you have to be open to change. You have to continually innovate, especially for a business like mine who's already 13 years old. I really need to innovate and make sure that I can cater to the new generation because it's a different landscape already. I'm very interested in the digital world because that's also my profession. I'm a digital marketer. So I'm always in the internet. So I see even on the other side of the world, what are the trends, etc. And then I also make sure to communicate with friends because through that, I'm able to learn what they need, be it a mom or a student or a fellow entrepreneur. I learn from them and then that's when I try to create products that would be helpful to them. I think, yeah, going back to being open, you just have to be open. I know that our current situation is sometimes disheartening and medyo mahirap talaga to be a business owner during this time. But I think you just need to come back to the reason why you started. As for me, this has been my passion project for the past 13 years. And when I look back, I also look back at the process that I went through, the learnings that I learned. And that's what's gonna keep you going. Of course, the sales and money is important, but you need to also remember how hard you've worked for this business so that you can go back to the reason why you started it. I hope you continue supporting local businesses because when you support a local business, you're also supporting a dream. Please check out our web stores, both Common Room and Izzo Shops web stores. By supporting a small business, it also gives us hope and encouragement to continue doing this. So thank you for watching and I hope you learned something from me today. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel to support our community of makers. Bye!